A day of farewells at the Majedski as Bob Casey and Delon Armitage led out Irish for their final appearances for the Exiles. The home team led through the boot of Tom Homer, but it was Gloucester who bagged the opening try of the afternoon through Tom Voice, the stand-in fullback going over for his third of the season. In spite of Voice's effort, it was Irish who looked the more dangerous, and their cutting edge was brilliantly shown on the half hour as Delon Armitage put in Darren Allenson to extend their lead to 22 points to eight. Samoan winger Solosi Tajika Kibau benefited from Steve Shingler's break minutes later, scoring his fourth this term as Allenson turned provider. And there was still time for a clear demonstration of the explosive talent and pace of Jonathan Joseph before the interval as he sprinted clear to make the score at the break 34 11 to Irish. Into the second half, the first major incident came on 46 minutes with tempers spilling over between the two packs. Dave Pearson's decision was to send both David Pace and Jim Hamilton to the bin, but the two players didn't wish to leave it there, and another fracker ensued, resulting in both men seeing red. Six minutes later, Gloucester were down to 13, as Mike Tyndall, in maybe his last game in the famous cherry and white strip, was shown a yellow card, and with the numerical supremacy, Irish scored through replacement winger Marlon Yard, as Kieran Roach, playing his last game in Irish colours, chipped through for the 20-year-old to bag his first of the season. Tyndall's first contribution on return to the field of play was to be shown a clean pair of heels by Armitage, the Toulon-bound winger netting his fourth try in three games to bid the Exiles the fondest of au revoirs. And Yard compounded Gloucester misery with his second of the season and the match with five minutes to go after an electric break down the short side from Joseph. Although Voice bagged his second late on, it was scant consolation for the visitors as their miserable end to the season continued. Final score, 52-18 to Irish. A fine way for all those saying goodbye to the club to bow out, none more so than Armitage.